What's happening YouTube? KP Tutorial 8 Identifying the Manufacturers of our Scanned Hosts and the Nodes on our Network Alright, it's quite important to know the um, manufacturer, maybe you, you may be able to derive what OS is running on that and uh, subsequently be able to do a number of things Okay, so this is where we left off hopefully Alright, we scan the network and just wait for our nodes to pop up alright about now ish here we go right we could do with putting um, the host name now or maybe the manufacturer okay so let me show you one way of doing it I'm sure you're aware of this way it's not the most reliable but I'm gonna demonstrate it here I'm just gonna uh, write a bit of code and we're gonna import socket Okay, that uh, should be good. And we do a socket dot get host by address. All right, and we just need to put the IP address of the node in here that we want to identify. Identify. Okay, so it says Chris's MacBook, and I think it's safe to say that that's an Apple computer. Okay. Alright, let's scan that again. Now I'm going to input the IP of my router because I know it's not going to resolve. Okay, it's just going to spit back the IP. So we don't know what manufacturer it is. Okay, so how can we work this out? Well, um, we have the OUI. Alright, that's a user PC. Obviously, that's obscure as well. That could be anything. That uh, that actually could be a, a MacBook, um, but the user is actually trying to throw us off by naming his computer, whatever. So uh, I'm just going to revisit some old code here I wrote two years ago. Um, it's a bit spaghettified, and I believe I was running nmap. Please obs um, please ignore the code. Okay, this is what a lot of caffeine does. <laughs> spaghetti everywhere and if you can see up here I've got the nmap SP scan going when the buttons pressed okay now nmap itself as well could not resolve um, the host name um, this is not nmaps fault uh, I do believe that it, it refers to an OUI.txt file and it's just that I wasn't, I may not have been running an up to date file, so I did some research and uh, tried to find the OUI text um, or an updated version. Okay, so if we just run nmap just to demonstrate, now we could do this easily just run nmap and just do it for all our scans, but that's not the point of this series. I want you guys to do it in Python. Or the majority in Python, we can add nmap later. There's, there's no problem with that. So it's identified Chris's MacBook. Okay, let's put the router, router, router. If you're American or English or wherever, and it is unknown. All right, so it's been unable to to see what that is. Okay, and this is without scanning ports. Okay, so we see you got a port scan that may be able to derive what OS is running on there and everything but um, if I run this now okay I run if config what we do have is the MAC uh, the MAC address obviously um, has the OUI now I found the text file online a long time ago and I can't actually remember if I took out all the blank spaces and formatted this myself or if it's out there um, I'm pretty sure I did it myself but I may be wrong if I did kudos to me and if I didn't kudos to whoever did okay but I've got the text file alright so therefore we can reference the OUI okay and this is a pretty up-to-date one so it should have uh, the majority of manufacturers in there which I'm going to link 
to the description down down in the dis I'm going to link into the description down there. <laughs> All right, as you can tell, I'm pretty tired at the moment, but we will keep going. Right, so if I open this and I type in um, now, the OUI is going to be the first uh, th uh, six characters of the MAC address and this is the routers and if you look it up it is ZTE Corporation Corporation okay so that's the router alright but we want to gather this information obviously I'll put it to our screen uh, just to give us a bit more info maybe add some logos that spin around or whatever you like you know make it a bit more visually appealing alright so here's the text file it's a dictionary okay it has a key alright and a subsequent um, value okay and they're without the colon so they're all, they're all joined alright so all we have to do is just reference the file ask the file do you have this OUI it either does or doesn't so let's create a ARP request as we know how to do, or you should know how to do from tutorial 2 right, so that should be request really it shouldn't be a response, but I'm not going to change it you guys should know what this means by now so it's ether, this is everybody and it's going to be an op packet and the IP is going to be my router okay it's 254 and hardware destination is going to be everyone I'm just going to shout this packet out so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 that's right okay and since we did response we might as well do request down here equals SRP1 and then the packet we just created okay and we should be good to go we've got an answer which is great and if we do the hardware source we subsequently get the MAC address alright but we need to strip this down to be able to use it efficiently okay so let's just use Python because it's great for doing this and if we do an x equals and we need to index it so it will be x equals from the beginning until the 8th I'm not including and there we go but we got these pesky colons in the way alright so we need to get rid of them as well as you can see they're all joined together in the dictionary so we need to get rid of the colons so we get OUI equals and we have a lovely little function called replace brackets and we want to replace the colons with emptiness okay and that's perfect alright great and I've just uh, I've just had to get back because my dog decided to attack the cat and almost killed it don't worry, the cat's fine. I think the dog was worse off. Right, so we've got OUI. Okay, there. Now, what we need to do is reference the text file. Okay, now the text file generally should be in the same folder as the um, the tool that we were making. All right. Um, right now, it's in my home directory. Okay, I've put it in there. So all we have to do is open a file and um, read it and reference it okay to each um, each key in here and ask it whether uh, you have the manufacturer or not okay so we do an F equals open the name of the text file which is OUIs.txt and we do the R for read dot read brackets 
and now we assign a variable which I'm going to call match equals eval and then the variable f which we assign to the open file okay now there is a bit of an issue All right, I want you to start thinking about it the OUI up there we need to do something to it All right, I'm going to put a try accept block here so what we need what what do we need to do what's the difference between the OUI that we just derived and the OUIs in the text file pause the video okay have a little think we need to do something to it okay apart from the characters being different obviously <laughs> right what's the difference between the characters there and the characters we have well, let's see if we open this again we have to dot upper which is uppercase okay if we didn't do this we would have come back with an error the key wouldn't be found okay because it's case sensitive so we do an accept just in case now this is a bit of homework for you guys alright so you can incorporate into the tool obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys how to do it uh, in the next tutorial and maybe even add some logos as well to the nodes uh, let's just do print OUI not in file okay and hey presto we have ZTE Corporation so it's in the file alright so this is how we can use um, the OUI the MAC address derived from the op request to derive the manufacturer using Python okay and using the text file alright so if I just run the old network scanner and this is the method I used beforehand as well to do exactly the same thing so if we run this it comes up you should have the manufacturer and the host name which it does we've got Apple Asus Tech Computer okay we've got Apple and ZTE Corporation Corporation right so it's brilliant obviously if we go to another screen we can display a logo for for the OS that we assume it is or we know it is depending on where we are okay so that's it guys thanks for watching thank you for the support don't forget that the um, the link for the text file is in the description if you like what you watch don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up I will appreciate it there's plenty more tutorials coming keep coding keep being awesome see ya